Hi, you got the blonde guy YouTube channel. Are you tired of cleaning this messy hair out of the drain? If you are, stick around. If you know someone who is, stick around for them. And at the end of this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, give it a thumbs up, and share these with your friends. Well, what we're talking about is cleaning hair out of the tub and out of the sink. And it is a pain to really clean this hair out of your sink and sink drain over time. And it really is a pain and I'm getting where I'm tired of doing it over and over again. But it's gotten much worse here in the last few years with me growing out my hair. Yes, I used to have short hair about four years ago, I started letting my hair grow out. And I noticed a couple of years and even more recently in the past year that it's getting worse on the drains in the tub and in the sink. I had a sink the other day that was stopped up and I tried to plunge it, thought it was just a small clog, to plunge it, thought it would go on through. It actually made it worse. So, like my brilliant self decided to do, I'm always at Walmart shopping, looking for things. I went back to the Walmart bathroom section and found a product that is for the sink. And then just the other day, I was looking for another product um, and I found something for the tub. And I said, well, we use that. We have some of those at home. And they seem to work. And we'll show you that in a minute. But I found something the other day at Walmart in the as seen on TV aisle near the cash registers. And here's what we have. First of all, this, by the way, is a two-pack, and we have one already here in use. We'll show you that one. But this is called Dr. Reuter, or made by Dr. Reuter. And these install in your sink. As you can see here, uh, it goes in your sink drain, it catches the hair, and then at the end of here, the hair wraps through the uh, device that you put in your sink drain. And this is a two-pack. I think it was around, I want to say, $5. I think that's what it was. And then also we have this other one here that I just bought. This is called the Tub Shroom. This is for your tub. These were around $10 at Walmart. And I actually bought these at Walmart anyway. And uh, before I purchased them, I decided to click on Amazon real quick. Couldn't find them any cheaper on Amazon. It was actually more expensive by three or four dollars, depending on who you buy them from. But this is in the as seen on TV section at Walmart. It's not in the plumbing section where your bath bathroom fixtures and that sort of things are. This product over here, however, is. Now, we have not installed that in this sink yet because we don't seem to have the problem over here or over here. And maybe it's cause there's just one person uses this bathroom and there's not a problem. But when you get hair down in your drain, it becomes a problem. It gets tangled up in here, down in here, and down on down an elbow. So what we're gonna show you is what you have to do. First, we're gonna show you this one, how to install this one. And I happen to have a unit here out of a sink, and we're gonna show you how to do that. But you're gonna to have to take this out, and it's not that big of a deal. Now, the only problem is, if you ever wanna stop your sink up to wash your feet, or just stop it up to wash your hands or something, or anything else, you're gonna to have to get you a something to stop it up with, a little cap or something. You can find those sort of things. Uh, one of these things that we have here in the drain actually has a little cap to go over it. You can place something over that to stop up the drain and that way you can soak whatever you need to soak. But once you do this, you're not gonna have your plunger in your sink anymore. And you're gonna have to actually take that part out and go from there. But so far I'm using ours like this and I like it. We're going to step into the other bathroom where we installed it after we show you how to take this apart. 
Okay, so first thing you need to do is get yourself a long handle pliers like this and they will fit around this nut here. Now, this piece here that I have, you don't take it loose. It connects to your drain stopper handle, which is right back here. It connects to this right there, the part that makes the stopper go up and down. You're gonna leave all that so you won't have a hole in the back and it won't look funny, but you're gonna leave all that. So just get you some wire pliers, gently break this loose, just like that. Take this nut here loose, slide this lever out of the hole, just like that. And then when you're under the sink, <laughs> look, we're not under the sink, so I'm doing it the easy way. Pull your plunger out, or your stopper, rather. Now what that stopper does, it connects in here, and it goes up and down. So you take that out, lay it aside. Take this, put it back in, reconnect, because you can't let water just flow out this hole here. Snug it up with your fingers. Make sure everything looks just like that, nice and straight again. And then as you're under the sink there, take your pliers. If there's any washers or anything that fall out of here, be sure and put them back exactly like they are. Tighten this up with some pliers nice and gently. If you're strong enough to use your fingers and it doesn't leak, then you'll be good, just like that. You're not gonna use this anymore, it's gone. So once you've done that, you're gonna take your stopper here and put it in, it's quite simple. I'm gonna use this new one for demonstration. This, folks, by the way, is the top. This is the bottom. And here's your sink. And it slides down in there. And you just kind of let this piece here on the, let this here, it will fold back on itself right there. This little lip will fold back on itself. Let's see if we can turn it just like that. Fold back on itself and go down in there. All right, here we go. When you're pushing it down in the sink, it may have a little wet or water, it's a little easier to push in. But I'm going a little crooked there. But as you're putting it in, wiggle it back and forth. And it wouldn't hurt to have a little water, a little soap on that to help it sliding because this is all dry. And as you press and wiggle it down in there, you have something like this sticking up. See, just like that. Now, if you notice, this part you're not gonna see, but it will go down in here. Uh, it's not gonna block it completely off. That's just for your overflow on your sink. And that's the little hole at the top of your sink. Water flows from the edges, goes in here. And later on, you'll have to take and pull that out. But the hair catches right down in here on top. Right down in there. The water hits this and it splashes into the sink like normal. The one great thing about this is if you have jewelry, you drop your ring or something, this will catch it. And instead of it going down into the elbow, uh, your sink trap, and having to clean out your sink trap, this will catch jewelry and important things like that that may fall out of your hand off your hand, um, anytime you're doing work around the sink, something may fall out, this will catch all that. And later you just take and pull this out and clean the hair off of it and pop it back in. And you pull it and wiggle it, get one side of it loose like that, and pull back and forth, wiggle back and forth. You got it out and then your hair should be on this. Clean it out. And there you have that part. That's the first one. And let me tell you, if I've seen hair get stuck back in the pipes in the wall, past the elbow, and sludge get back in there, 
and stop up the wall, pipes in the walls. And that's not even fun. We want to take a step and go into the other bathroom, show you what that looks like installed in sync right quick. Here we go. And here it is. Works just like that. Catches all the hair. And the reason we have that one in here is because we stand in front of the sink right here. We only have one sink in this bathroom and you're more likely to stand in front of the sink. <laughs> you're more likely to stand in front of the sink and comb your hair, brush your hair, whatever, and drop it in. Doesn't be seem to have the problem in the other room, but this works really great. I like it so far. And now, on to the tub. Yeah, now all you have to do here is get you a screwdriver. Just like this. We'll take this out in here. This is what we have. It works a little bit, but it doesn't work that well. It's one of these, this here catches hair pretty good, but as you can see, it's rubber and it will float. So we're taking that out. Well, I can see there, there's hair underneath where it floated and went underneath. So we're going to, yeah. And we may need to clean that out now. Or we'll take a screwdriver, take that screw out right there. Just like so, loosen it up. And pull your screen with the screwdriver. Pull everything out of the way. Make sure you clean all this up before you get done. And we're gonna get light. See how much hair is down there. See how it looks. Looks pretty clean, so the thing we had was doing its job. Okay. It's not that bad. So we're gonna get the product over there. Now this product has some rubber on it, so you need to open it very carefully. But we're gonna go over what it says here. First it says to insert into the tub. And it says you can take it out later. It takes some tissue and clean the hair off. It tells you there you need to pull the screw out the screen, take your cover off. Then if you have a pop-up shower, it says you may need to get someone to help you with that. If you're not familiar with it, there's where it shows how the tub stream actually works. You leave it a half inch above the base of your drain. And we're going to take scissors and open it because there is rubber down here and you don't want to tear that. We we'll just gently slide this in and cut it. Or if you don't like it and you want to take it back, but I have, I haven't tried it. I mean, it looks like it's going to really work well. So I normally wouldn't pay $10 for a piece of plastic and a piece of rubber. But this looks really well made. Yeah. Okay. So I'm looking down in the tub drain here and it looks clean. Um, it just makes a 90 degree turn down there. And I cleaned this one out recently so it looks clean. There might be one little piece of hair, but I'm not going to worry about that. But before we install, we're going to flush a little water through. <laughs> That'll help anything that's right there loose go on down. Just like that. And when you get done with this, go ahead and wash the tub out. Be nice and rinse it out. Okay. So take your old tub shroom here. Try to get a little better angle there. And uh, it doesn't matter, but I like to make words where you can read them. You know, just take and put it down in there and slide it straight down gently. And it'll only go so far because there's a piece of metal. There's a bracket across there. And across here, that's where the screw goes in for your other screen. 
and it'll only go so far when it hits that don't try to keep forcing it just make sure it's down and it's going to push back up and that's pretty much all there is to it just like that and just give you an idea what it looks like when the water runs over it is that right there and the water goes under now of course this is not going to allow you to stop up your tub you're not going to be able to take a tub no way man yeah you can still stop your tub stop it up yeah it'll still hold water this is just a different screen so this one you have to flip up we'll show that to you so it should still hold water because it closes off back there there's a rod that runs from here down to the bottom of the drain and it goes up and down and it blocks it off so at least here in the tub you can still stop up your tub and there's your water so no problem with that and there goes the dirt there goes the little bit of hair and this thing don't float it just sits right there now this other thing we have over here you seen the hair i pulled out from underneath of this thing they had these at Walmart. I already had these and thought I'd try it. But every so often, just take and pull that straight out, clean the hair off, stick it back. It beats trying to clean that out because if you ever get hair down in here, this makes a 90 degree turns and goes that direction, back this way and then down. If you ever get hair in there, uh, there are some devices that are some to clean those tubs out with. And the drain. I believe it's called a drain snake. I've got one that's yellow and it's got teeth on it and we might be able to show you that, but you'll have to use one of those to get the hair out if it gets on beyond there. And sometimes when hair gets where the plunger actually stops the water from uh, leaking out of the tub, it'll get caught between there. And then when you push the lever down, the water will leak out of the tub. So I've done and cleaned those out like a couple weeks ago and it's still good and still good shape. But don't forget about your stuff here. Go ahead and keep your drain cover, your screw, put it up somewhere. Keep your little thing here. Keep those things. I'm going to clean those up and put them up later. But this looks like it's going to go really well. And like I said, if you get in the, don't forget to wash out your tub and clean it out for the next person to use it. And that pretty much does it. A simple fix for keeping long hair <laughs> from going down the tub drain. And we got three people in the house with long hair. And since I've let mine grow up, like I said, it's gotten worse. <laughs> and so now I hope this works. I haven't actually tried this, but it looks like a really good product. I can't see why it won't work. It's gonna catch the hair, pull it out, clean it off. Same with the other one that we have for the sink. And here's those products again. The Hair Cyclone. That's this right here. And the Tub Shroom. That's that right there, the one we just installed. And I hope this video was helpful and uh, share this video with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that like button, give it a thumbs up. And as always, you got the Blind Guy YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and have the nice rest of your day. And we're signing out with one last look at our products from Walmart.